patients first. Hello, I'm Yolanda Vasquez, and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I am joined now in the studio by Eric Gasho. He is the Assistant Vice President of Government Affairs for the National Health Council. Eric, it's a pleasure to have you in our studio. Great. Thank you for having me. So your organization was founded way back in 1920. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit more about your overall mission and, and who makes up the National Health Council. Sure. Well, we're a nonprofit organization. We're a membership organization. Our members include uh, various patient advocacy organizations such as the American Heart Association, the American Cancer Society. Um, it also includes a lot of rare disease groups such as the ALS Association. I was going to say, because it lists chronic chronic diseases and disabilities, but mm -hmm. it pretty much runs the gamut is what you're saying. It really does. And so we support our mission, which is to provide an eye voice for people with chronic diseases and disabilities. So this is all of them. Okay. You have a new initiative out called Putting Patients First that I alluded to mm -hmm. in, the, in the intro there. Uh, what exactly is this all about? Sure. So we put together this website that's really going to be helpful for people who are searching for health insurance plans on the new marketplaces created by the Affordable Care Act. Uh, but it includes um, four main sections. Uh, it has a, uh, a, a resource directory um, that were a lot of resources that were created by the National Health Council as well as a lot of our member patient advocacy organizations. And when you say of, resources, give me so an idea. So this will give them uh, just a general concept of how the Affordable Care Act works and how the marketplaces are structured um, and some of the things they need to think about when they're trying to buy an insurance plan. What's the difference between going to this website versus going to the healthcare.gov website? Yeah, so this is a, we call it the one-stop shop for a lot of patient resources. And it'll have um, things that are, are general, like you might see on healthcare.gov. Um, but it will also have a lot of uh, disease-specific ones that are provided by our members as well. Why did you think it was so important to, to put this initiative together? So the, so the National Health Council and uh, most of our patient advocacy organizations were really supportive of the Affordable Care Act. It creates a lot of new patient protections that didn't exist before. Uh, people with pre-existing conditions can now buy insurance. Uh, there are caps on annual and lifetime, or there's a removal of annual and lifetime limits. There's caps on out-of-pocket spending. Um, but as we kind of started to implement the act and, and saw what people were, the information they had available when buying a plan, uh, we really saw that there needed to be a lot more information out there for folks that just didn't exist. Because it, it because they were just confused about it or it just wasn't there? Uh, a, a little, little bit, bit of both. both, yeah. I yeah. think there, there's a lot of information out there, um, but I think that we thought it would be important to create a place for um, everyone to be able to come to have a, a one-stop shop, as I mentioned. Uh, one of the aspects of this uh, website, the initiative and the, the, the information there has to do with a, a calculator, and I was mm -hmm. asking you earlier, what, what exactly is that? Yeah, so this calculator is really, I think, the meat of the website. Mm -hmm. um, so as I mentioned, it's very difficult for people to be able to pick the plan that's right for them, um, particularly people who have high health care needs. So uh, someone like me who is healthy and sees a primary care specialist a few times a year, I'm probably going to pick the plan that has the lowest premium. Uh, but for someone who has more complex needs and more expensive needs, um, it really is important for them to be able to figure out how these other factors, uh, such as out-of-pocket spending, is really going to factor into their decision. So that's what the calculator is all about for them yeah. to really assess that information before they go ahead and pick a plan. Exactly. More information beyond the premium. Exactly. And so what the calculator actually allows you to do is you can go in, uh, you say what state you live in, um, you say what your age is, and then you can go through and actually uh, tell the calculator what type of health care needs you need. You can actually put in the exact uh, prescription medications that you're taking. Um, actually, you start to type it in and it will auto fill the rest of the, the medication. It has every FDA approved medication there is. Um, you can also uh, say how many uh, times you'll see a provider over the course of a year, uh, whether or not you think you might be hospitalized over the course of the year, or you might need an inpatient or outpatient surgery. And so um, it'll use real plan data from your state. Um, Lots and of good stuff that you have listed on the website. Eric Gasha, it was a pleasure having you here in our studio. Thank you so very much. Great, thank you. We appreciate that. And that'll do it for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Yolanda Vasquez. Thanks for watching, everybody.